Revenge X System X SpaceX Eternal Love Gumoyan suddenly saw an apocalyptic warning and received a lie detector plus spatial system, just like when she suddenly lost her parents. It's not a big problem, she can accept it. With her best friend and handsome nanny, she prepared for the end of the world. She wanted to stay quiet for a few years, but her good uncle, who had disappeared for more than twenty years, rushed to send someone to cut the axe for her. Then, her good second aunt, good third uncle, and other seven aunts and eight aunts all came to greet her warmly. She smiled and greeted them, giving them a confusing gift package. When floods hit, the three of them were forced to move to the base and relied on Gumoyan's skills to make a living. However, they found that the person who had been secretly helping them was Uncle Gu. So, what was the truth from back then? What is this apocalypse? Chapter 1 Apocalyptic Warning You are listening at NovelFull.audio Why did it trip again? Gu Moyan was awakened with sleepy eyes. Pulling off her eye mask, she looked at the source of the sound. It was a newly arrived intern at the company, or rather a pampered young lady. Just get used to it, it often trips. Gu Moyan got up from the folding bed, rubbed his eyes, and looked for his phone in a daze. I intended to call the person in the distribution room, but inexplicably entered a web page. When did she open this web page? She suddenly woke up a bit, squinted her eyes, and the four bold words, Apocalypse Warning, occupied most of the screen. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining the 666 Zijuoxing system. A voice suddenly rang out in her mind, and she didn't react. She thought she was dreaming and asked casually, why is it called Zijuoxing? Because Wu Yong. Gu Moyan was just taking a sip of water to suppress his shock when he heard the words and sprayed out. Next to him, a colleague who had just taken off his eye mask cast a puzzled look. The hot weather, coupled with a trip, caused the air conditioning to stop working. The summer heat rushed into the room, making Gu Moyan, who was already embarrassed, even more sweaty. She made sure she didn't hear anything wrong, waving her hand at her colleague and shouting out loud for something that suddenly appeared in her mind. System. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, Gu Moyan heard grievances from the cold mechanical sound. Host, the apocalyptic warning you just saw is true. A reborn person, a very powerful person, was specially written to remind people of this world. Moreover, those who read this article will gain a system and have stronger survival ability, which can improve human survival rate. Wait, I haven't seen it yet. The system obediently shut its mouth. Gu Moyan tidied up the folding bed and stacked it under the table. The young lady beside her became impatient and said, Why haven't you called that old man yet? What's your name? What are you saying? What is my name? I'm from the Jiang family. No, I mean, what are you barking about in a dog? The young lady was momentarily stunned. She only came to this company for five days, but her ability to cause trouble is stronger than Gu Moyan, who has worked for five years. Due to her identity, no one dares to ask her, but they all help with the aftermath. She thought Gu Moyan looked honest and didn't have much ability, but she was scolded just a few words. You. Don't talk, I'll hit you. I have something to do. The young lady choked and sat down in frustration, with colleagues beside her casting admiring glances. Gu Moyan didn't even bother and looked at the web page information without considering it. This article is 2000 words long, detailing the 10 year long apocalypse from 2035 to 2045. According to the description in this article, at midnight on September 1, 2035, which is seven days later, multiple earthquakes of magnitude 8 or higher will erupt in the Pacific Rim seismic volcanic belt, causing an active volcano in an island country to erupt and sink on the spot. Subsequently, many parts of the world experienced a series of major earthquakes, with multiple active and dormant volcanoes erupting. This is just the beginning. In the next decade, the Earth will experience high temperatures, extreme cold, floods, droughts, and more. Animals and plants are mutating one after another, 
and viruses are rampant. Ten years later, the remaining population on Earth will not exceed 100 million, and only 5 million people will survive in the six official bases of our country. The Blue Planet will become a nightmare for humanity. After 2045, the author claimed to have only lived for another five years, during which there were no natural disasters, but human society recovered slowly. Many people survived the apocalypse, but did not survive the food crisis after reading it, Gumoyan continued to read the comments, and most people were admiring the rich imagination and exquisite writing of this child, almost no one believed it. If it weren't for the system in his mind, Gumoyan wouldn't have believed it either. System. What's wrong, host? Prove what you said. The mechanical sound of the system paused for a moment before ringing again. At 7 p.m. tonight, a 7.8 magnitude earthquake occurred in the capital of Gansu province. Tomorrow morning, you will see flying snow on your way to work, and the day after tomorrow. What role do you have? Host, I can help you determine whether a person's words are true. And then what? It's gone. Gu Moyan slowly looked up and stared at the black screen of the computer, looking at the reflection of himself on the screen. Can you say it again? Hee hee, host, are they useless? You're really too. But as the host, as a system, we also have our own space, which is a necessary item for survival in the apocalypse. What else can someone else's system do? It can cause the host's force value to explode, predict, and manipulate others. There is a universal spiritual spring in the space, with unlimited storage. By the way, I forgot to mention that we open 50 cubic meters every day. The sound of the system is getting quieter and quieter, and in the end, I dare not speak Gu Moyan's face is even darker than the screen. Host. Shut up. Gu Moyan felt that there were too many flaws to start with. With a shake of his hand, the phone interface refreshed, but the article had already entered a small dark room. The sound of the system suddenly exploded in her mind. What? It's gone. Wait, I'll ask the main system. The system didn't speak for a long time, and Gumoyan watched a few videos in confusion. A few sounds of electrical appliances turning on rang out, the air conditioning was turned on again, and rows of computers were all restarted. I called. At this moment, the sound of the system also rang out again. It's broken, host. The article has been banned, and you have become the last person to receive this article with a system. This system is out of print. Really? Really, it's out of print. This 666 issue will add a significant touch to the history of the system. No, I mean, the apocalypse, really. Really, host, even more real than real gold. Gu Moyan hesitated for a moment but still tidied up the things on the workstation and put them into a plastic basket. On the side, the big and small sisters came over with coffee and twisted their waist, watching Gu Moyan's movements. They seemed to have some confidence from somewhere, and began to feel strange again. Hey, didn't you just be able to handle it? Now you know you've offended me, can't you stay in the company anymore? Gu Moyan was putting a few useless steam eye masks in the drawer into a plastic basket. Upon hearing this, he lifted his head and stared at the young lady with a deep gaze. The young lady's face changed from red to white, from white to blue, and finally to purple. Vegetable, just practice more. Gu Moyan slowly uttered these four words, then took off his work badge, stood up, and walked past waving it, just as a sign hit the young lady's face. You. Gu Moyan ignored everything and walked straight to the office. He opened the door and walked in without giving a single glance to the young lady. Everyone else at the workstation was holding back their laughter. The big and small sisters stomped their feet in anger, turned around, and glared fiercely at the crowd, what are you looking at? If you look again, my dad will drive you all away. Everyone quickly lowered their heads. The upturned corners of the mouth were never suppressed. Chapter 2 Anan and Suhi. You are listening at novelfull.audio.
Gu Moyan resigned. The reason is a sudden change in the family. After settling this month's salary, Gu Moyan left the company with a box in his mouth. As soon as she got out of the elevator, she dialed her best friend and Anne's phone number. Apocalypse. System. Judgment. M. O. Yen, are you crazy? I'm not crazy. There was no response on the other end of the phone. She waited, the street was noisy with people, but she could hear her own heartbeat. I trust you. System judgment. True. Gu Moyan breathed a sigh of relief and said, I know you will believe me. I am about to go home now. Are you still going to your stepmother's place? I won't go, it's already the end of the world, I'm not angry with her. No matter what the outcome is, I will go to your house today. If nothing happens, then consider yourself taking a day off, okay, then I'll pack a room for you and come out. Gu Moyan's home is in the suburbs. It has been an hour since I returned home. Along the way, she carefully observed the surroundings, but did not notice anything unusual. Everything seemed like a dream. But the incessant chattering system in the brain proves the authenticity of everything. Pushing open the door, Su He is cleaning the living room. His hands are very beautiful, with distinct joints, slender and slender, and holding a cloth seems somewhat incongruous. However, Gu Moyan has long been accustomed to it. Sister, the food is on the table now. Gu Moyan didn't move. Su He stopped his movements and turned around to see her holding the plastic basket. He was stunned for a moment, put down the cloth, casually wiped the apron, walked towards her, and took the plastic basket with ease. Little Crane. I'm here. I resigned. Su He hummed and said, Then I'll go work. No need. What's wrong? The end of the world is coming. What do I need to do? Gu Moyan looked up at his beautiful eyes and raised the corner of his mouth, saying, Do you believe it now? My father once said, I will obey my sister unconditionally. System judgment. True. Gu Mo smiled and remembered the kind old man, feeling a tinge of sourness in his heart. Let's go count some things first. I'll call in and hear, and we'll talk about it when she arrives. At seven o'clock, Ask me to check the news. Okay. After Su he moved the frame to her room, he went to the basement. Gu Moyan didn't idle either. He simply tidied up the room next to her room, spread mattresses and sheets, put pillows and blankets, and hung a few unused clothes in the wardrobe, then placed aromatherapy. After finishing all this, Anan was still on the way, and Gu Moyan collapsed on the sofa. Open up. The system seemed to have been waiting for a long time, and as soon as she touched the sofa, she screamed in her mind, Host 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 host. I didn't die. Host. That. Tall, handsome, handsome. Male. Who is it? Dot. That's it. The boy who was just doing housework. Who is it? My younger brother. Ah, 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 ah. Do you want to have a cross-racial love with him? Uh, no, I, ah, uh, I'm so handsome. Gu Moyan was speechless. She turned around and found a comfortable position to wrap herself around the sofa. Then, with a sigh, he began to tell the system about this experience. Her parents had already died, and all her inheritance was divided among relatives. After the division, no one took care of her, only leaving her a suburban villa, as well as a loyal old butler and his son. The son of the old butler is adopted by Su He, who has just turned 19 and is currently studying in college. And the old butler had already died of pneumonia a few years ago. In order to repay his nurturing kindness, Gu Moyan used his meager salary to support the old butler's son's education. His son did not disappoint her either. He was admitted to the best university in the local area and studied diligently. Gu Moyan did not allow him to work part dot time during his studies, so he devoted all his time to studying and even received a national scholarship. Su He was quiet and reserved when he was a child, 
and the old butler was not a talkative person, which led to both children being somewhat autistic during their childhood. Su he is okay, because he is handsome and has many young girls to talk to, Gu Moyan even had no friends and spent his childhood alone. Until he entered university and met his talkative roommate in him, he used his own strength to help Gu Moyan overcome his autism. The two also became best friends as a result. After speaking for a long time, the system didn't speak. Gu Moyan didn't expect him to have any reaction either. She closed her eyes and fell into a deep sleep. I don't know if next time I open my eyes, I'll see the morning glow in front of me, or the endless darkness the doorbell rang. M.O. Yen As soon as he opened the door, Anan gave Gu Moyan a bare hug, which almost made her turn her back in one breath and say, Be gentle, be gentle, I'll be strangled to death by you. When you were on the phone, I had an argument with my boss. When you talked about the end of the world, I immediately gave up and left. It was so great. I love you so much. What if the apocalypse doesn't come? You take care of me. Hey. Who is this? Anand closed the door, turned around, and happened to see Su He walking over upon hearing the commotion. Ah, this is. Butler, Su He interrupted An An's words and spoke first. Ah. Anand looked at Gu Moyan in confusion. Gu Moyan also had some doubts and turned around to look at Su He. For a moment, he didn't know what to say, so he could only make up for it by saying, let's eat first. It's just heated up. Okay. Su He took an and suitcase and carried it upstairs, while Gu Moyan took an into the dining table first. M.O. Yen, is he your boyfriend? No, as I told you before, this is the son of the old butler, counted as siblings. Well. By the way, why hasn't he come to eat yet? Gu Moyan was also puzzled. He stood up and prepared to go find Su He, only to see him standing in the living room, staring at his phone without saying a word. He saw her coming and turned his phone towards her, and the 7.8 magnitude earthquake in Gansu province immediately caught his eye. She slowly shifted her gaze upwards and happened to see 7.30. Sister, is this what you asked me to remind you to see? Gu Moyan nodded stiffly. The next day, some tasks were not yet completed, and Gu Moyan went to the company again. Sitting on the bus, listening to music, she felt drowsy and fell asleep without paying attention. Oh my goodness, look, it's snowing. Triggering the keyword, Gu Moyan suddenly looked up. In August, snowflakes actually appeared in the sky in an instant, fluttering in the air. How beautiful! Is it possible to sprinkle salt in the air like willow catkins rising in the wind? How amazing! How lucky! I can actually see snow in midsummer. Are you lucky? The people in the car were all amazed, and only Gu Moyan sat in place, slowly lowering his head. She knew that if yesterday was just a coincidence, then starting today, everything about that article would have arrived. Chapter 3 Stockpiling You are listening at NovelFull.audio After settling her salary, and then transferred all her assets to her, and now her card has a total of 94,891 yuan and 36 cents. At this time, Suhi also transferred 200,000 yuan to her. She looked at him in confusion and said, where does money come from? And then widened her eyes in disbelief and said, you wouldn't. Sell yourself out for your sister, would you? Gu Moyan also looked at Suhi with a frightened expression. Su He opened his mouth and said only two words. Borrow money. Suddenly broadening the thinking of the two girls, retracting their exaggerated expressions, Gu Moyan and Anan also decisively applied for loan software. Gu Moyan even went to find a decent relative and asked for 5 million yuan, falsely claiming that he wanted to start a business. That relative was the one who split several million yuan with her father to get to where she is today. She was already feeling guilty, and this 5 million yuan was not a big deal for her now. She directly paid the full amount to her card and told her when she would repay it without interest. 
It's impossible, not even a little. Looking at the incoming text message, Gu Moyan's thinking was once again broadened. She followed suit and asked several relatives for money, especially those who were on vacation in a certain island country. She promised them to repay the money within a week. Of course, they didn't have the chance to take it, and even managed to raise 10 million yuan in total. When he finally went to the supermarket, Gu Moyan had a total of over 12.6 million on his card. And then looked at Gu Moyan like a dog leg, while Su He beside him only glanced lightly. You're excited, why aren't you excited? What's so exciting about it? When the old lady was alive, my sister had nothing but money. Hiss. In an An's impression, this was the first time Su He had said so much in one breath. This should have been my sister's. When my father couldn't find a job at the beginning, he relied on the salary given to him by his master and wife for more than twenty years to support us, which has been used by my sister to go to college. Dot. An An's chin dropped in shock and switched directly to dogleg mode, nodding and bowing to Gu Moyan all the way. The supermarket where the three people came is not very large, it can only be said to be of medium scale. They, more precisely, An An and Gu Moyan, discussed all the way and decided to take down all the food and daily necessities in the supermarket. When they arrived at the supermarket, the three of them also came for the first time carrying huge sums of money. After casually finding a staff member to explain their purpose, he looked at them with some surprise. In his view, these three people were not young, nor were they bragging, and their expressions were also very serious, but from their attire and overall demeanor, they don't seem like young masters and ladies from wealthy families. May I ask what the purpose of the three of you is? Gu Moyan said seriously, we plan to start a business and open a small shop next to the school. Our family gave us several million yuan. The staff immediately stood in awe and said, please come inside. They headed straight to the food area, accompanied by several staff members pulling flat carts. The reliable and silent adult Su He is responsible for recording items, the reliable and talkative adult Gu Moyan is responsible for communicating with the staff, and the unreliable and talkative Anan is responsible for casually unpacking snacks. Gu Moyan said, you need mineral water for this wall, not vitamin milk for beverages, and not the smallest can of AD calcium milk. An auntie, I'll take a can of plum orchard. Yes, he will remember it. Gu Moyan said, on this wall, all instant noodles, except for spicy ones, are required. An auntie, is this taste delicious? Mo Yen, she said it's not delicious, so I don't want it anymore. Gu Moyan said, this wall, don't want bean sauce, don't want peanut butter. Do you like it? Hmm, I'll take peanut butter too. Gu Moyan. Wine. Beer, just a dozen boxes of Baijiu and red wine. Thank you, we don't smoke. Ainan. Auntie, I also want that sweet wine. In terms of food, because there are only three people and their mouths are very picky, they rely entirely on their preferences. They don't want anything they don't like to eat, and they fill everything they like to eat. Pre-made dishes and frozen foods can be taken away regardless of whether they are eaten or not. If they are not delicious, they can also be mixed with sauce. There were also meat, eggs, vegetables, and fruits in the supermarket. Apart from chili and lamb, Gu Moyan also ordered all of them, but the quantity was not very large. Later, she went to the wholesale market to sell special products, but it was already early the next morning. As for snacks, there are also cheese-flavored, matcha-flavored, and chocolate-flavored cookies. Apart from cream cake, all the cake and bread, and in specifically states not to use cream cake because she is afraid of gaining weight, meat shops, potato chips, sholong spicy chips, Gu Moyan only eats shoyu long, and Konjak refreshing Gu Moyan waved his hand and all the staff immediately moved away. She also ordered 90 birthday cakes downstairs by the way. Even if it's the end of the day, they should live well and celebrate their birthdays well. And then finally played her role in daily necessities. She chose several kinds of shampoo that were easy to use and said one. 
Gu Moyen indicated that the staff would take one, then hair conditioner, bath gel, soap, face cream, lotion, toothpaste, toothbrush, washcloth, facial mask. As long as an said it was easy to use, Gu Moyen bought all of them. Seeing a bottle of floral water placed in the corner, Gu Moyen suddenly thought of something, asking the staff to take as much as possible, as well as some insect repellents, all packed and taken away. Then there were some warm clothes, and Gu Moyen chose the thickest ones to buy, after all, it would be extremely cold after the extreme heat. There are also intimate clothing, underwear, pantyhose, and sanitary napkins, whether for daily or night use, ultra-thin or thickened. Move them away, move them all. After finally browsing, Gu Moyen was too tired to speak. When the staff smiled and flattered as they handed over a long list, they said, Hello, the total is 1.8 million. Stop talking, just swipe your card. The staff's eyes lit up. She looked around and asked in a low voice, Little girl, Auntie, could you please ask if there's any news or if the end of the world has arrived? Auntie, do you still read apocalyptic novels? Gu Moyen raised his eyebrows. Oh, I've seen so much then. System judgment. False. The system prompt sound that had been silent for a long time suddenly sounded. Gu Moyen squinted his eyes and his gaze towards the woman became even deeper. Does your child also like it? Yeah, he's been following a demon lately, saying every day that the end of the world is coming. He's like being possessed by a demon, and even clamoring for me to gather supplies. You're making me crazy about this. System judgment. True. Gu Moyen has a general understanding. She also smiled and said, I'm really stunned. To be honest with you, I've been reading a lot of post-apocalyptic novels lately and thought about writing one myself, but I don't have much life experience and can't even write about any hoarding plot. My family gave me a little money to come out and experience it, afraid of losing face, so they said they wanted to open a supermarket, so. Yeah, there's no such thing as an apocalypse, it's just a fantasy. Gu Moyen gave her a meaningful glance, swiped her card, and left gracefully. Chapter 4 Poisonous Mosquito You are listening at NovelFull.audio After scanning this supermarket, the three of them went to several more supermarkets. Su He threw the list he made at the first supermarket directly to the staff, and left the address. He casually paid a deposit of 1 million yuan and asked them to deliver all the items to that address before 6 p.m. this evening. The address is certainly not a villa. As a reliable adult, Su He rented a warehouse near the villa and asked them to move everything to the warehouse. Gu Moyen Actually, she prefers to deliver goods to her doorstep rather than moving things from evening to morning. After running a few supermarkets, it was already past 2 p.m. They were so busy that they didn't touch the ground and didn't have lunch. After finishing their work, they were so hungry that they couldn't care about going home and casually found a restaurant. Gu Moyen thought the pig's feet rice was pretty good, took note of the name, ordered hundreds of them on his phone, and also ordered hundreds of grilled skewers, yellow braised chicken rice, fried chicken, hamburgers, french fries, and whole family buckets. At the end of the order, his hands were sore, so he threw it to Su He to order slowly, and then took a taxi home. When she got home, the delivery guy happened to be there too. A group of yellow and blue guys were standing outside, so scared that she thought they were coming to attack the city. Hello, this batch of pork feet rice and yellow braised chicken rice that you ordered is from us. The rest will be with the next batch of people and are already on their way. Do you think so? Gu Moyen opened the door and said, put it on the living room floor, don't take off your shoes. I'll mop it later. The delivery guy nodded incessantly, and a group of people went in and out. Gu Moyen was about to close the door, but the next batch of delivery guys came in and went back and forth several times. Every time Su he just finished mopping up the ground, the next batch of delivery guys had already arrived. Xiaoha, don't procrastinate. There will be the last batch later. Dirty. 
Su He furrowed his brows and mopped the floor again, and the last batch of delivery guys also arrived. They had become accustomed to the local takeout and Su He, who was obsessed with mopping the floor, exhausted and speechless. They squatted on the ground, put down the takeout, and almost crawled out. End of work. Su He opened the door again and said, Sister, we still have to go to the warehouse to move supplies. Warehouse. Where did we get our warehouse from? So Su He proudly recounted his actions, and after listening, Gu Moyan punched him on the shoulder. My daily space limit is 50 cubic meters. Seven days is only 500 cubic meters. And now there are only six days. I also need to tidy up a hallway for myself. Tell me what to do with the rest. Su He lowered his head and looked at the floor with a guilty expression. Gu Moyan looked at him with a helpless expression on his face, desperately recalling the days when he worked hard and couldn't help but sigh. It's not a big problem, Xiao He is cute, loving, and capable. Isn't it just moving supplies twice? Move, move, move. So the three of them left the door in the evening until early morning. And then carried the last box of plum gardens and threw it into the house, closing the door with a loud bang. Great, I won't drink Li Ziyuan in my lifetime. Anan used to be a sports student, and Su He, an adult male who was 1.8 meters tall, was fine. Only Gu Moyan had the strength to speak and collapsed on the sofa, losing focus in his eyes. Little Crane. I'm here. You guys go to the wholesale market. I'll die for a while first. There are still six days until the end of the world. During the morning when Gu Moyan lay dead at home, Anan and Su He went to the wholesale market and pharmacy to thoroughly clean up. It wasn't until the afternoon that she struggled to regain her mobility, and a carp stood up from the bed. M.O. Yen. Anan pushed the door open, and Gu Moyan fell back straight onto the bed. M.O. Yen, M.O. Yen, don't die yet. Su He said the person you want has been brought to you, go take a look first. Gu Moyan sat up in shock amidst his dying illness. Three minutes later, the person lying dead was replaced by Anan, and she came to the yard and handed her design drawings to the construction team leader. The walls of the villa courtyard have doubled in thickness, with an additional power grid installed on top. The door has been replaced with the hardest material, and all the glass has been replaced with bulletproof glass. The person in charge took the design drawing, listened to her design concept, and scratched her back neck. After a while, he slowly looked up and said, I have a question that I don't know whether to say it or not. You said. May I ask if you want to turn this place into a prison? Gu Moyan's eyes lit up and he said, yes, pure prison style. The person in charge's eyes also lit up, and he scratched his neck. I also think your villa is very suitable for a pure prison style. Don't worry, I will definitely install it for you. I need to expedite. How quickly can you finish it? Three days. I'll give you an extra five zero 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 zero. Okay, I can finish it for you today. One more thing, I need to install a household solar power generation system for the villa. The person in charge's eyes lit up terrifyingly. Do you want to establish a prison that is completely isolated from the world, so that prisoners have no possibility of any connection with the outside world? I understand you. Gu Moyan patted the person in charge on the shoulder and nodded, yes, work hard, and strive that you can also move in tomorrow with your bag. The person in charge messed up for a moment, then excitedly scratched his back neck again. So why scratch your neck? The person in charge was taken aback, turned his head, and said, it should have been bitten by mosquitoes, right? Mosquitoes are really poisonous lately. When Gu Moyan and Su He, who stood silently beside him, saw his neck clearly, their faces changed. Is that right? It was a mosquito bite. Why are you looking like this? The person in charge is not very fat, with a neck that is generally thick and thin, and the red bump occupies most of the neck, which is slightly purple. Gu Moyan flipped his head and took a photo of his neck, 
then released his hand and said, you see for yourself. The person in charge shook her neck and muttered to her phone, then froze after seeing her neck clearly. Is this my neck? If it's a fake package exchange. He reached out with disbelief on his face, carefully touching his neck and understanding the outline of the swelling. His face suddenly turned pale. Gu Moyan's face was also not good dot looking. System. Didn't the post-apocalyptic warning say that the poisonous mosquito appeared on the third day? Wait, host, I'm checking with the main system. This time. No, it's not. The system just hastily replied a few words before going offline. Gu Moyan's face looked even worse. She frowned and asked Su He to go to the basement to get some sunscreen clothes and medicine. Hurry up and finish it, go to the hospital tomorrow. It wasn't because she was squeezing them, the number of poisonous mosquitoes would only increase, and they couldn't change the person in charge temporarily. Fortunately, the mosquito toxicity is not very strong now, and his bag just looks scary and cannot die. It won't be easy to say in a few days. The person in charge didn't know about the poisonous mosquitoes, but for his ideal of a pure prison-style villa, he also nodded. Chapter 5 Rainstorm You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the afternoon, the originally low walls of the villa have more than doubled in height, and the outer layer has been thickened by harder materials. Not only that, a moat was dug outside, and even some fish fry were thrown inside. Above the wall is a high dot voltage power grid, and the door is made of materials that Gu Moyan cannot name, making it hard to describe its firmness. The original monitoring system outside the walls and in front of the gate could not record sound, but now it has been replaced with the most advanced and advanced monitoring equipment from 2035. There is also an electronic screen at the entrance that can communicate and video with people inside the monitoring room. A lookout tower was built in the northeast corner of the yard, all made of the same materials as the wall, and wrapped in bulletproof glass in all aspects. The person in charge also specifically asked if there was a place to leave a wooden warehouse, but did not get the desired answer. He lowered his head in disappointment. The observation deck is connected to the villa balcony, which can be accessed from the yard or walked directly from the villa balcony. The villa hasn't been moved much, it's just that all the glass has been replaced with bulletproof glass. The bulletproof glass was the first to be installed, and the sound insulation effect is also excellent, so Enen, who is sleeping soundly inside, can hardly hear any movement outside. She was awakened by the heat. When she woke up, she looked around at the copper walls and iron walls, feeling confused. M.O. Yen. Are we in prison? Yes, I am the newly captured arsonist of Fong Xian. You really set fire, how do I feel so hot? Anan opened her phone and casually brushed a few times. Suddenly, her eyes widened and she pointed the screen at Gu Moyan's face. Look, someone has been bitten to death by mosquitoes. Gu Moyan shrank back. Pulling her hand apart and squinting her eyes, she saw a photo full of crimson. She was startled and looked closely, only to find that it was a human arm, but there was no good skin left, all purple red bumps and black blood flowing out. What is this? A photo of the person who was stung to death. Taking out his phone, Gu Moyan also downloaded a social app. Opening the software, the entry, Poison Mosquito, has already firmly ranked first. Gu Moyan flipped it over and found that the local temperature was 34 degrees Celsius. Except for the Sichuan Tibet region, this poisonous mosquito appeared overnight in almost all parts of China. It's not a gradual process, but a sudden outbreak. Gu Moyan remembers that a few days ago, everyone was still lamenting about the scarcity of mosquitoes this summer, and today he was caught off guard. Has this weather become so surreal? Gu Moyan continued to scroll down, in addition to some popular celebrity topics, the entry, A Man Died from a Poisonous Mosquito also made it to the top 10 of the hot search, followed by entries such as, Natural Disasters, and Earthquake Poisonous Mosquitoes Flying in Snow in Summer, but was pushed very far behind by entertainment news. 
people who pursue stars are certainly not so brainless. They are also human beings and cannot ignore the world's fireworks at all, it is also impossible for the country to block information and prevent ordinary people from being aware of abnormal weather conditions, there must be some power from the wealthy among them. So, did some wealthy people also see that article? Gu Moyen searched for words such as hoarding and pan supermarket in the search box and then turned to articles in related fields. Sure enough, he saw, Lin Group's acquisition of the largest chain supermarket in the country has temporarily suspended its opening. Many people below are asking Lin why he doesn't make money, but Gu Moyen has completely understood. She searched online for the names of the chairman and members of the Lin Group, took notes, and casually threw them into the space. Anan, who was scrolling through her phone on the side, also saw these and felt very worried. Gu Moyen reached out his hand, and a large red bag actually occupied her entire fair wrist. I actually had it earlier today. The person in charge of the construction team was also bitten quite frighteningly, so it's better not to go out as much as possible. I can even get bitten wearing long sleeves and pants. Sue he put many mosquito lamps at home and cleaned up the accumulated water. You shouldn't have been bitten, right? And then sat up, put on her slippers, ran up and down in front of the mirror, looked up and down, shook her head, and walked back, no, it's pretty good. That shouldn't be a big problem. There are still five days until the end of the world. On this day, Anand continued to improve the villa security system. Gu Moyan plunged into the space to count the quantity of supplies, while Suhi buried himself in the kitchen to cook. The fire axes we bought earlier have arrived, and the three of them have each chosen one that they can handle well. The remaining few have been placed in Gumoyan's space. After some thought, Gumoyan entrusted another relative to obtain the latest thermal insulation suit launched by Gu Group. I originally wanted to buy it myself, but my wallet was empty and the insulation suit was too expensive. Gu Group focuses on the technology industry and has a variety of small gadgets, but the prices are too expensive for ordinary people to afford. She, as an office worker who also needs to support a college student, cannot afford them. There is not much new news online today, but the temperature continues to rise, and poisonous mosquitoes are becoming more rampant. The number of deaths caused by poisonous mosquitoes is constantly increasing in various regions. The city of Z, where the initial deaths occurred, has already lost hundreds of people. CCTV has issued an emergency notice calling on people to go out as little as possible, wear long pants and sleeves, wear gloves and masks, wash their hands frequently, and open more windows for ventilation. Some businesses are already vigorously promoting their facial kini, and even have sales of over 100,000. Because he hasn't had much contact with people, Gu Moyen hasn't heard the sound of the system for a long time. She was busy sleeping and didn't care about it. There are still four days until the end of the world. Heavy rainfall began throughout the country, temperatures stopped rising, and poisonous mosquitoes disappeared without a trace. People call this rain, timely rain. Facial genie merchants also disappeared in the rainstorm with poisonous mosquitoes. All the tools I bought online before are almost ready, and Su He, who was blocked by heavy rain at the express station, went to retrieve them himself. There are still three days until the end of the world. The rainstorm kept on, so he did not stop cooking. People are starting to get a little tired of this rain. There are still two days until the end of the world. The rainstorm still hasn't stopped, so he is still cooking. People began to complain, calling the rain the tears of the earth. There was no heart of repentance, just a roast that the earth could cry. Perhaps this apocalyptic disaster is earth's retaliation against humanity. There is still one day until the end of the world. The rainstorm still didn't stop, but Su he stopped cooking. They also didn't have time to check the latest news on social media. He looked at the surveillance and called Gu Moyen. Sister, is this the staff who checked out for us at the supermarket last time? Gu Moyen saw the woman through surveillance and nodded, it's her. Behind the woman, 
there was also a man about the same age as Su He, as well as a sturdy middle dot aged man. Who is it? Gu Moyan shouted outside through the microphone. The woman's eyes lit up when she heard the familiar voice, and she shouted loudly, Girl, is that you? I was the aunt who paid for you at the supermarket that day. System Judgment True Chapter 6 Sent by Gu Shan You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio Long time no longer heard, Gu Moyan was almost startled by the mechanical sound of the system. She leaned closer to the microphone and pinched her throat, It's not me, you're walking the wrong way. It must be you, girl, I remember your voice. I have inquired and found out that within a radius of ten miles, apart from your home and a warehouse, there is no one stocking up anymore. It must be you. Gu Moyan suddenly felt guilty. She glanced at Su He, who had no facial expressions, just pointed to the surveillance camera and asked her to continue watching carefully. The woman's face became grim, and the two men next to her became impatient in the picture. Stinky girls, didn't you say they were very familiar with you? Why don't they even recognize you now? System judgment. True. Maybe she didn't recognize me, didn't she go to quite a few supermarkets? Then you shout a few more words. The woman cleared her throat and pointed at the surveillance camera on the door, trying to create a friendly smile. Girl, don't you remember? I talked to you a few times before, and I said, my son likes reading apocalyptic texts. We really hit it off. Sorry, you really got the wrong person. The middle dot aged man finally became impatient. He pushed the woman open and shouted at the door, open the door. I know it's you. Let me in. Otherwise, I'll call all the brothers on the construction site and stop everyone living. Speak up. Don't pretend to be dead, you must have read the apocalypse warning before realizing there is an apocalypse. Our family is waiting for your relief. Open the door. If I don't open the door again, I'll go shout for someone. No one of us can think of a better time. System judgment. True. Gu Moyan dug out his ear and said, So, do you want to come to my house for shelter? So what? Gu Moyan fell silent for a moment, and then a hoarse female voice sounded, I'll open the door later. The three of them suddenly lit up their eyes and waited excitedly and anxiously. And the three people on Gu Moyan's side were wearing raincoats with great difficulty. When the person outside the door was about to lose patience, the door was finally slowly opened, but only by a crack. Come on in, I'm weak, I can't pull this door too hard. System judgment. False. Gu Moyan curled his lips and chuckled lightly. Hee hee, little strength. All right, little strength. When I come to your house, I'll come and help you with your work. The man's lewd voice was particularly piercing, making Gu Moyan want to remove his ear. She sneered and hid behind the door with an N and Su He, relying on her mouth shape to see what Gu Moyan was saying. Hurry up and solve it. I need to go to bed, leaving only one. When the first person poked their head out and didn't see where Gu Moyan was, Gu Moyan didn't see who it was either. It wasn't important anyway, just give them the first New Year's axe. She swung the fire axe and swung it down, leaving the man who broke in confused. Ah 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 ah. The second person didn't have time to step back and let out a scream. Sue he cooperated tacitly with another axe, and the couple both passed away on the spot. The man walking behind the two of them was frightened and wanted to run, but was pulled in by an ant and thrown hard to the ground. Just as he was about to move, Anand threw an axe and inserted it into the soil next to him. He trembled a few times in fear, not holding back a single breath, and a nauseating smell suddenly permeated the air. Are you scared to pee now? The sound of rain was so loud that Gu Moyan could hardly hear his own voice. She frowned, understood with peace of mind, slapped him twice, picked up the man's collar, and walked towards the villa completely ignoring the man's heart-wrenching cries in the rain. Opening the door, Anand felt a bit disgusted, but still threw him in. 
The man looked at the three people in front of him, one with a terrifyingly cold face, one, holding a mop, quietly watching him, another one, although it seems harmless to humans and animals now, she just dragged him all the way over the man trembled with fear, but looking at the magnificent villa, it was difficult for him not to harbor some greedy thoughts. You. I'll say it, I'll say it. Before Gu Moyan could ask, the man spoke up first, causing Gu Moyan to be stunned for a moment. I'm just an ordinary college student. I used to swipe my phone until the end of the world warning, and even got the system, so I told my mom. My mother didn't believe it at first, but after seeing the earthquake and snow, she believed it all. I was originally planning to go to the supermarket and bring back some supplies, but I happened to encounter you swallowing supplies. After chatting with you for a while, she thought you were very kind and would definitely help us, so she came to join you now. Gu Moyan listened quietly, and from beginning to end, the system's false warning sound never stopped. The man was originally waiting for Gu Moyan's question, but he received a slap and said, to be honest. The man was stunned by the fan and said, I'm telling the truth. False. Gu Moyan slapped him again. I said, I said. It's because our house is not very sturdy and we just want to borrow it for a while. Another big comparison. It's because our family doesn't have the money and wants to come and eat and drink. He hasn't told the truth yet, let's drag him out and kill him. It was Gu Shan who called us here. Gu Moyan and Su He were both stunned, not expecting this answer. But the man didn't notice their trance and continued, Gu Shan said, you borrowed so much money from so many people, you must be doing something. My mom is like she's crazy. Recently, she suddenly found out what we're thinking, so he sent her to find a chance to get close to you. My mom said it's the first time she saw you, and she kept listening to you talking about the apocalyptic texts and the apocalyptic world. Gu Shan asked my mom to find a chance to come to your house, kill you all, occupy your house, and then he moved in, system judgment. True. Gu Moyan continued to slap him. What I said is true. The man roared angrily at her. I know, I just hit it off. Gu Moyan waved his hand and said, let's go. The man stood up happily, just turned around, but suddenly turned back and took out a dagger from his pocket. He pounced at Gu Moyan with a fierce expression and said, stinky girls. You die for me. System judgment. True. Gu Moyan stood still without moving. The man thought she was afraid to move and laughed even more wildly, but found it difficult for him to move forward. He slowly lowered his head, and a knife had already penetrated his abdomen. Hello dirty, stay away from your sister. The truth. The man fell to the ground in disbelief. I'm sorry, Xiaoha. I originally wanted him to die outside. Could you please clean up? It's okay. System judgment. True. Su so he threw the body outside and began to tidy up the inside of the house. After tidying up, he walked out the door and piled up all three intruders at the door, arranging them in three big characters very regularly. Chapter 7 Apocalypse. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Inside the house. Gu Moyan sat on the sofa, touching his chin. Gu Shan is the eldest brother of his father Gu Tian, who is currently the chairman of the Gu Group. He was the one who took away half of his parents' assets on his own. She knew that even if her parents died and all the inheritance was divided, as the only daughter of the former chairman of the Gu Group, she could not remain unknown. Because the Gu Group is not just a small achievement on the surface, but also has a much larger network of relationships than imagined. As long as she wants, she can easily swallow half of Gu's family at any time, relying on her parents' connections as an adult. But she doesn't want to. She also knew that someone had been secretly monitoring her for years, but she didn't care either. Anyway, from the beginning, she didn't want to argue for anything. But in this chaotic apocalypse, there are many friends of her parents who left early who can help her. She doesn't need the Gu group. 
she only takes back what belongs to her parents. There is still one hour until the end of the world. Suhi checked the materials for the last time and confirmed that there were no omissions. Gu Moyan has been busy researching how to maximize space utilization in the past few days at present, most of the supplies are concentrated in the basement and space, mainly consisting of the rice cooked by Su He in the past few days, Su He said that in the post-disaster era, this may be the last time he cooks in the kitchen for the rest of his life, which scared an end to eat two more bowls, take out, fresh fruits, vegetables and other food he ordered before. Most of the supplies are placed on shelves and pulled back from one shelf to another in the warehouse. Gu Moyan tried several layout methods and finally planned his space before the end of the world. After finishing the final preparation work, Gu Moyan, Su He, and Anan sat around the coffee table. On the coffee table, there is a huge clock. The three of them sat quietly, watching the minute hand turn and occasionally flipping through hot search lists, feeling the passage of time. There is still half an hour until the end of the world. Late at night, the heavy rain that had been pouring for several days finally stopped. On social media, a topic has become a hot topic. Crazy wild deer appear in South America, the specific content is a video. In the video, a wild deer suddenly fell to the ground, then stumbled and stood up. Suddenly, it roared and ran towards a passerby, biting into their shoulder. The person shouted in pain, while the other hand held a knife and frantically stabbed the wild deer, pulled it out, and then struck again. But the wild deer didn't feel any pain and continued to bite the person until the video hurriedly ended without letting go. Some people speculate that this is a zombie virus and associated with the zombie virus predicted by a certain scientist decades ago. Some people believe it deeply, but most people still scoff at it. Gu Moyan has no way of judgment. In the apocalyptic warning, there was no mention of the South American incident or the zombie crisis. It was only mentioned that there were many events that were difficult to explain scientifically before the apocalypse began. It can be seen that at least this incident did not have much impact on China. But on the internet, people are spreading various rumors about the outbreak of zombie crises and the impending end of the world but soon they were all deleted one by one. There are still 20 minutes until the end of the world. Although it was already midnight and the air conditioning was on, Gu Moyan suddenly felt a bit hot. In summer, due to a few days of rain, it is already very stuffy and hot, and the perceived temperature is much higher than the actual temperature. She still remembers that the temperature she saw this morning was 33 degrees Celsius, which is normal for the whole country and even in some places it belongs to the low temperature of summer but in this city, this is approaching the hottest temperature in a decade. Now, the phone displays 36 degrees Celsius and there is a continuous upward trend. Gu Moyan was worried about how to understand the situation of the outside people when he remembered the three people outside, got up, and pushed open the door. Ten minutes later, she nestled back comfortably on the sofa, holding three phones that had been flipped out from the three of them. She just unlocked it with their fingerprints. Turning on the computer, she scanned the code on the woman's phone and logged into WeChat, then casually threw her phone into the trash can. At first glance, Gu Moyan locked onto the community's three building owner groups on the screen. At this moment, messages are constantly popping up, and the small red dots on the group chat are constantly refreshing numbers, all of which are irrelevant words. Only a small number of people complain about the hot weather and the inability to turn on the air conditioning temperature. There are still 10 minutes until the end of the world. Someone has noticed the abnormality in temperature. Take a screenshot of the weather app on your phone and post it in the group, followed by a series of question marks. On social media, topics related to high temperatures have also squeezed into the hot search list, but only at the bottom of the list. 5 minutes. 4 minutes. 3 minutes. 30 seconds. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2 Gu Moyan dialed the phone of a relative who was on vacation in Japan. The phone beeped twice and was quickly answered. A sweet female voice answered from the other end of the phone, Nan Nan, what's wrong? It sounded normal. 
the three of them slowly leaned their ears towards the phone. The next second, a scream almost pierced the eardrums of the three people. What's wrong, Auntie? I'm here to talk about repaying the money. Why is there so much noise on your end? Is something wrong? My bed, my bed just shook and something fell to the ground, startling me. It's really strange, how could it suddenly shake so badly? Are you here to repay the money? It's okay, it's not urgent. Starting a business is quite difficult, and auntie's money can help you turn it around for another two days. Why did it shake again? Miss, run quickly, earthquake. What? The phone was hastily hung up, and the three immediately opened their social media app, waiting for the news to appear. There it is. Fu is a mountain eruption, island countries sink islands, the 7.6 magnitude earthquake in northern Sichuan, Xinjiang earthquake with a magnitude of 8, Guangdong coastal earthquake with a magnitude of 9, Taiwan, China 8.8 .8 earthquake, in an instant, many entries about earthquakes appeared, almost refreshing every second, with news of new earthquakes in domestic and foreign regions every second. The previously silent list was almost full, and once again refreshed, social platform servers were paralyzed. Gu Moyen quickly opened his computer WeChat, and in an instant, the community owner group received over 500 messages. Why is there another earthquake? It's still in Sichuan province. My son just returned to Sichuan province to attend university. Have you watched the news? The island country is sinking. Is it really fake? I still have friends on vacation in the island country. Really, there have been earthquakes in many places, only we are still relatively good here. Didn't you feel the ground shaking? My house just shook twice and I was awakened by the shaking. The message refresh speed is too fast, and Gu Moyen didn't have time to take a look. The page has already scrolled several times. Glancing at the weather software next to me, the temperature has risen to 40 degrees. Earthquakes have occurred one after another in the Pacific Rim earthquake and volcanic belt, with volcanoes erupting one after another, causing abnormal temperatures and rapid skyrocketing. Some people are even in their sleep, having already been sent to sleep by fallen beams, even if fleeing to open areas and facing large dot-scale earthquakes with multiple directions, large areas, and high intensity, how to wait for rescue, how to escape from the heavens the apocalypse has really come. Chapter 8 Meetings You are listening at NovelFull.audio After waiting for so long, the three of them, who were carefree, had nothing to do. The area where they are located is neither affected by the earthquake nor has any family or friends to worry about. With the help of the air conditioning, the temperature can be temporarily ignored, and for a moment, the atmosphere has fallen into a strange silence. Little Crane. I'm here. I'm hungry. Okay. Su He stood up and walked towards the kitchen. And then looked enviously at Su He Yuan's back and said, M.O. Yen, others are still strange. Have you always been like this? Almost. Gu Moyen forgot how old Su He joined her family and also forgot when he took over some of the tasks from the old butler. In short, since that day, he has been eating familiar flavors for more than a decade. In the villa, the wind and waves are calm, outside the villa, the waves are surging. Leaders of various countries are anxiously holding meetings. There were almost no signs of this major earthquake, and it had spread from the Pacific Rim seismic volcanic belt to other major seismic volcanic belts. Almost every earthquake-prone area, big or small, shook once, like sweeping a mine. As the earliest country to experience earthquakes, Huaxiao, strictly speaking, was the island country next to Huaxiao. However, the island country was almost instantly overturned and disappeared silently from the world map, leaving no trace of this country. Unfortunately, it disappeared too quickly, and some of our compatriots who were still on the island did not have time to return. The earthquake in Huaxia also ended early, and there were no multiple aftershocks except for a few areas. This earthquake came and went quickly, very strange, like a mischievous child, 
just saying hello to you. Hi, I'm going to start playing tricks on you, this is just the beginning. The relevant technical personnel immediately began investigating, and a large number of researchers began working overtime. The government immediately organized rescue efforts, and rescue troops and supplies were sent to different disaster areas. However, there are too many earthquake-prone areas and limited personnel, and rescue teams that have never been affected can only do their best to rescue as many trapped people as possible. If the rescued personnel are not seriously injured, they can only bring the food and water provided by the government to the centralized shelter on their own. The excitement online was only a moment long. One hour after the earthquake, only a few netizens from provinces that were not affected by the earthquake were still engaged in heated discussions, discussing several posts posted by earthquake witnesses. The post-apocalyptic comments continued to ferment. Some people also believe that this earthquake was just a coincidence, and soon the world will return to its previous normal state. Beijing Lin Yang walked into the conference room with his father in a tall military uniform. Gently closing the door and turning around, he accepted the scrutiny of everyone in the conference room. He stood respectfully with his head lowered and his eyes lowered. He knew that in this conference room, he was the highest leader of various departments in China. He is the youngest and lowest ranking among them. Big leader, this is Kanzi, Lin Yang. Sit down. Lin Yang gently pulled out the chair at the bottom and sat down, trying his best not to make any noise throughout the process. Xiao Yang, I heard you read a post online about post-apocalyptic discourse a week ago and got some magical things. Yes, senior leader, I accidentally saw the post. After reading the post, I have a system. What is the system? So, Lin Yang earnestly introduced this popular term that has frequently appeared in novels this year to the leaders sitting at the conference table. That's probably it. My system gives me infinite space and control over the positions of other people who have the system. My task is to find these people within five years. As long as they are alive, they must be found, otherwise I will be judged as a mission failure and immediately die. Lin Yang finished speaking looking at the leader in front of him with a solemn expression. I can retell the content of that post to you again. That post will make the end of the world clear. The current natural disasters can find the same answers in that post. I think my father must have told you about these things. At that time, after Lin Yang confirmed the existence of the system, he immediately found Mr. Lin. Mr. Lin Lao Lai is the one who loves Lin Yang the most. He believes whatever he says and immediately reports to the leader. The leader is skeptical and has secretly made some preparations. In order not to cause panic among the masses, they can only make some small actions. The address of the underground base has also been selected and was originally being secretly constructed. Before the earthquake occurred, he had done everything he could, which people couldn't see, but he did play a role. However, the scale of the earthquake was too large, and the damage it caused was beyond anyone's imagination. Even if he was prepared, it would be a drop in the bucket. At present, the Lin Group has purchased a large amount of grain from foreign countries, which is stored in my space and can feed one million people for a year. If the country needs it, the Lin Group is willing to serve the country and provide stored food unconditionally. However, my space is infinite, but the grain is limited. My suggestion is to announce the apocalyptic disaster as soon as possible before the situation becomes serious, recruit system owners as soon as possible, build bases as soon as possible, store food as much as possible, and collect solar energy to prepare for extreme cold after extreme heat. In addition, the Lin Group will also do its best to help the country, the people, and overcome difficulties together in other aspects. The leaders listened silently to Lin Yang's words. These words, some of which they had long thought of, and some of which they had no idea of, some are things they can implement, while others have insufficient resources. The younger generation is terrifying. In the eyes of the leader, there was not only concern, but also some praise. The country cannot do without your fresh blood. 
We, the elderly, cannot afford to turn a few waves. Leader, you deserve our respect. Don't be humble, the leader smiled and continued, I have a task to hand over to you. Please speak. At present, the country needs a large amount of funds to build a post-apocalyptic security system. A few years ago, due to the economic crisis caused by the epidemic, funds were already insufficient. Understood, this is to make their Lin group stand out and use some money from other groups to enrich the national treasury. Lin Yang's father, Lin Hai, lost his composure for a moment and quickly regained his composure. There are only a few major groups in Huaxia, including the Lin group, the Han group, the Zhang group, and the Feng group. Others are fine, Han has been playing some crooked tricks before, and he has a lot of money in his pocket. The Feng family is divided into two main branches. Zhang and their two chairmen, Lin, have both served in the military before, especially their Lin group, which has had three generations of military service. They have done everything they can to prepare for this major crisis. As far as they know, although the Han family did not mention it, there must be someone in the Han family group who also has a system and a considerable ability. All of this was told to him by Lin Yang, but the Han family group did not take any action and continued to desperately make money. The goal this time is to make the Han group spit out some points, preferably in a profitable manner. Leader, Xiao Yang can't do this, just leave it to me. Old Lin, ah. Upon hearing this long lost title, Mr. Lin's heart trembled. From that battlefield to now, he has known the leader for so many years. Leader, I was born and raised in this land, and I will definitely protect it. Get up, take Lin Yang, and the two of them leave the conference room. Chapter 9 Second Wave of Seeking Trouble You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. On the third day of the apocalypse, the average temperature in the city where Gu Moyen is located has risen from 40 degrees Celsius to 46 degrees Celsius. The Meteorological Bureau issued a red warning for high temperatures, reminding the people to take preventive measures against high temperatures and emergency measures for heatstroke caused by high temperatures. However, it was not of much use. Some residents in the community say that many elderly people have been taken away by ambulances. Some people work together to turn on the air conditioning, today at your home, tomorrow at his home, some people see business opportunities and start selling popsicles and heatstroke medications at high prices, some people are preparing to set off to the mountains for summer vacation. Gu Moyen and Anan turned around and looked at the mountain outside the window, lost in thought. Dinner is ready. Whether or not to go to the mountains is secondary, what matters is cooking. The two of them started running and ran step by step to the first floor. Slow down, slow down, be careful. Gu Moyen just casually nodded a few words, quickly sat down with Anan at the dining table, took the bowl handed over by Su He, and wolfed it down. And just then, the doorbell suddenly rang. Although dissatisfied with the interruption of the wonderful time of cooking, Gu Moyen still casually put down the dishes and wiped his mouth. Where is this doorbell? Over there at the gate. Yes, let's go to the surveillance room first. In the surveillance footage, a small couple stands at the door, dragging two large suitcases. Su he pointed to the screen and said, Sister, those three people are gone. Gu Moyen suddenly remembered the three people he had killed not long ago, and couldn't help but feel a bit puzzled. It's impossible for someone to come specifically to collect corpses in this wilderness, right? Is anyone there? A female voice with a hint of wind came from the sound system, and the group withdrew their thoughts and focused their eyes on the surveillance footage. We escaped from the city, it's too hot in the city. System judgment. True. Is there anyone? Can you take us in? The female voice grew weaker and eventually disappeared into the wind. Gu Moyen's family is located in the suburbs, but it is not particularly remote, not in the wilderness, just at the foot of a mountain. Not far away, you can also see several villas. From the dusty door of the villa, it can be seen that there has been no one living there for a long time. 
she was not surprised that her residence would attract attention. After all, who would refuse a pure prison-style summer villa at the foot of the mountain? She doesn't intend to reveal herself, she just hopes they can be more discerning and leave as soon as possible. The girl shouted for a long time but couldn't see a response. She pouted and looked at the man next to her, Husband, isn't there anyone here? How could that be? There is a power grid above the walls of this family, and a circle of ditches have been dug around it. It is clearly well prepared, maybe it is the prophet in my brother. In law's name. Gu Moyan's gaze became angry. How, can you say that her moat is a ditch? However, she did not ignore the prophet they spoke of. Ah, my brother. In law is really good. He doesn't say much about the situation and doesn't come to help us. Husband, I'm so hot, I can't stand it anymore. Brother in law. A brother. In law who knows the inside story. Gu Moyan plugged in a headphone cable with great interest, put on one headphone, handed the other headphone to an in, and increased the volume. The man himself was also extremely hot, so he hugged the girl's waist. South, south, it's okay. If the people in this villa don't speak up, it means they must have a lot of good things. Let's go back and call the people in the community to take down the villa together. When I negotiate with them about sharing the spoils, you can take the opportunity to secretly stuff more things into your bag. Gu Moyan was speechless. They have started allocating her villa now. Have you asked her for her opinion? I still want to grab the villa, it seems that the temperature is too low and there is still energy to jump around. Is this divided into stolen goods? I haven't spoken yet, isn't it impolite, the sudden female voice startled the little couple, and the man jumped directly behind the girl. Who are you, come out. Baby, don't be afraid, I will protect you. System judgment. False. Husband, you are so kind to me. The girl was moved to tears, her eyes red. Enough, stinky little couple. Anand shouted angrily, causing the man to cower behind the girl again. The gaze converged on the source of the sound, and on the door, a surveillance camera was flashing yellow light. The girl's face was filled with uncontrollable joy. Husband, there really is someone. Are you still there? Can you save us? We just escaped from the city and planned to go to the mountains to escape the heat. The system determines. The truth. The truth is good, the truth shows that these two people, at least the background of the girl, is not much. Gu Moyan really wants to know who that brother. In. Law is. Her family number 666 had previously told her that some systems can view the positions of other system owners, and someone like her who has almost zero skills must first take action to be strong. You step back a bit, I'll open the door. The young couple exchanged a glance, hesitated a bit, but still picked up their suitcase and took a step back. With a loud roar, the door slowly opened. The young couple took two steps forward and stood at the threshold of the door, pausing for a moment. Looking at the probe, they saw that there was no one else beside them, so they walked confidently through the door. They walked to the door of the house and stood there, pulling at their sweat-soaked clothes. The door has opened. A young and beautiful girl stood at the door. May I ask who you are? The person who spoke to you through surveillance. This person is an N. Just as Gu Moyan was about to leave, he was stopped by an N. Perhaps they have the same background as the group before them. After some thought, it seems that it is indeed possible. So, I'll meet them first. There's no problem, you can show your face. If there's a problem. Anand said, her face filled with excitement. Gu Moyan watched her smile and couldn't help but shiver, finally and walked out the door. Come on in. And then turned aside to make way. The girl smiled at her and walked inside first, carrying a suitcase. The boy's gaze lingered on Anand for a while, nodded at her, and walked in. Although it was a perfectly normal movement, it gave Anand an extremely uncomfortable feeling, making her feel nauseous. 
maybe I've been too tired lately. Shaking her head, an Anshuan opened the door with her hand. Su he helped arrange their luggage and threw it into an empty room on the first floor. The two sat awkwardly on the sofa, their eyes fixed on the interior of the villa. The villa is even larger than they imagined. The decoration is in Western European style. The living room ceiling is a large light pool, which is adorned with gorgeous crystal chandeliers. The walls around are adorned with Roman curtains, ancient Greek oil paintings, and exquisite sculptural crafts are also displayed in several places. Gorgeous furniture, intense colors, exquisite designs. Accustomed to the small rooms in the city, the two felt as if they had entered a palace, as if they were in a dream. Chapter 10 Nausea You are listening at NovelFull.audio How do you two address each other? Anand walked out of the kitchen carrying tea and placed it on the coffee table in front of the two of them. The girl picked up the tea from the table and gently sipped it on her lips, saying, Thank you. My name is Jiang Yuan Nan, and this is my boyfriend, Zhang Tian. Zhang Tian, who was thirsty all the way, took advantage of this sentence and drank the tea in one gulp. Jiang Yuan Nan's expression was somewhat awkward. Taking advantage of Anand's carelessness, he glared at Zhang Tian fiercely, and the disgust in his eyes disappeared in an instant. Anan pretended not to notice and just nodded, My surname is Lan, Lan Shinran. Just call me Shinran. The name is a current one, but Shinran was a nickname used by Anan when he was a child, because he was afraid that other names would not react and reveal their names. How did you get here? At this point, Jiang Yuan Nan's eyes turned red. It's really hot outside, and now water and electricity have been cut off, sometimes communication is interrupted. At the beginning, there were volunteers in the community to distribute food and water, but the weather was too hot and the volunteers couldn't hold on. The people in the community are going crazy. Some people are just beasts, not even beasts. Surprisingly, they went to rob, go, go. The police can't control it anymore. As long as there are no dead people, they won't come. There are too many incidents of dead people. We can't bear it anymore, we can only think of taking shelter in the mountains. We have already finished the dry food we brought with us, and now we happen to be at the foot of the mountain and saw your house. I plan to ask you to take us in for a period of time. Just for a while, we'll leave when the temperature drops. If it doesn't work out, I'd like to ask you to let us stay a little longer until the temperature drops a bit at night. Anand frowned. This is just the third day of the apocalypse, has the order become chaotic like this? No, the neighborhood where the family lives is okay, it's probably just a few neighborhoods that are quite turbulent what is the situation outside. What's the big deal? Anand waved her hand, stop here. Xiaoha should have already packed up. Hmm. Xiaoha is the person who just passed by, hmm, he is my younger brother. Jiang Yuan Nan's eyes suddenly lit up and he said, Are you younger brother? Are you single? Do you have a partner? Are you married? Do you have a room? Do you have a car? What job, I'm going to college, and then smiled and calmly glanced at Zhang Tian beside me. Seeing that there were no waves on his face, his doubts deepened. Let's wait for him to come and introduce himself. Jiang Yuan Nan's eyes became increasingly bright, almost bursting with light. However, at lunchtime, facing Su He across from him at the dining table, Jiang Yuan Nan dared not say a word, just buried his head and ate the food. After finishing, he hurriedly returned to his room. Anan gestured for Su He to follow and take a look. After he left, for a moment, only Anan and Zhang Tian were left in the restaurant. Anan didn't say much, just silently lowered her head to eat. Zhang Tian's chopsticks kept stirring in the rice bowl, and his gaze gradually shifted from an Anjiao's good face, passing over her pure white neck and stopping somewhere. She noticed his gaze, frowned, and picked up a chopstick of vegetables. Shinran, are you and your brother the only ones living in this villa? Anan nodded, her movements in her hands and mouth never stopped, 
hoping to finish her meal quickly. Do you usually not go out? It's hot outside. So. Anan and he were chatting haphazardly, mostly incoherent and asking inexplicable questions. If she didn't pretend to be normal, she wouldn't even bother to pay attention. Just two people, how lonely it is. Anan finally put down her chopsticks, looked up, and coldly stared at Zhang Tian. What exactly are you trying to express? I don't know how long this kind of ghost day will last, just the two of you. It's so boring. Why don't we three be together? I promise to make you happy. Damn it. Anan spoke too calmly, to the extent that Zhang Tian suddenly didn't hear this vulgar sentence. What are you saying? I said, go to hell. Anan picked up a glass from the side and smashed it at Zhang Tian. Zhang Tian was so scared that he shrank and fell off the chair. He was then kicked and overturned to the ground by Anan, using a piece of glass to hold his throat. Blood flowed down his neck. Ah ah ah. What is it called, my blood? Anan looked silently at the man on the ground, and in the air, besides the bloody smell of her fingers cut by glass shards, there was also a foul odor. Are you scared to pee? Are you still here to grab the villa? Are you making me happy? Hmm. I'm in a circle of letters, do you want me to hit it? What's wrong? At the same time, Jiang Yuanan heard the commotion and hurriedly rushed over. Seeing the scene before him, he was only momentarily stunned and quickly regained his composure. Did he do something bad? Jiang Yuanan's gaze was cold. He just glanced at Zhang Tian, who was scared and lost control of his bladder and urine, foaming at his mouth. He then looked up at Anan and said, I'm sorry, Xinran. I didn't think carefully and shouldn't let you two be alone. She wanted to say something more when she suddenly turned around and dodged the fist thrown by Su He behind her. Su He furrowed his brows and then swung another fist. Jiang Yuanan quickly dodged and immediately began to counterattack, fighting with Su He in a ball. Surprisingly, she did not fall behind, but faintly suppressed Su He, who was 1.9 meters tall. His fists were all organized and did not resemble an ordinary girl. Even those who had learned Sanda could not have this kind of reaction. She held her breath and was about to subdue him with a move, but suddenly a sharp pain came from the back of her head. The next second, her body shook and she fell to the ground. Su He panted and looked up at Anan, who was holding a glass. When Jiang Yuanan woke up again, she had already been tied to a chair. In front of her, Anan and Su He sat indifferently across from her, with another woman behind them, blocked from seeing anyone. You guys, what are you doing? Jiang Yuan looked anxious on the south side. How's it all going well? Suddenly. Shinran, did I do something wrong? I'm sorry, I just fought back because he did something. I'll leave when the sky gets darker. I'm sorry about Zhang Tian's situation. Where is Zhang Tian? Has Zhang Tian already? Don't pretend, not a word is true. Behind Anan, the woman suddenly stood up and interrupted her conversation. Backed by the light, Jiang Yuanan only saw a blurry figure. But judging from her aura, this should be the true owner of this villa, the true leader of this team. She really didn't come to the wrong place. Women are like Gu Moyan. She kicked and a person was kicked out from behind the sofa. Jiang Yuanan looked closely and found that this was Zhang Tian, who had been dead for a long time. You two are not lovers, nor do you occasionally pass by. Of course, this fool may be a real passerby, but you are not. Why did you come? I know in my heart, Gu Moyan walked unsteadily to her, bent down, and his beautiful apricot eyes fixed on Jiang Yuan Nan, saying, Unfortunately, the person you chose is a fool who has touched our bottom line. Otherwise, we can play with you for a while longer. She she is indeed a fool, shut up, I haven't asked you to speak yet, Gu Moyan mercilessly slapped her, making her dizzy and disoriented, her mind buzzing and she froze on the spot. 
Shi Jiang Yuan Nan has been out and around for so long, and has never seen someone hit someone with such a disagreement before. Because the person you have chosen is disgusting to me, Gu Moyan seemed to see through her thoughts. You are also very disgusting. The order outside has not collapsed to the extent you said, except for the name, there is not a word of truth. 